Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie, and we are kicking off this year's holiday content with the holiday gift guide. I consider this a very general gift guide, pretty much for the person who you think has it all. I've gone through this list myself, item by item, and I've edited it down to everything that I truly want for myself and everything that I would love to give for my family and friends. Let's start with everyone's favorite home decor and accessories. One of the first things I wanted to share in my holiday gift guide is an extra large charcuterie board. Although it could be used for your typical cured meats and cheeses, I love the unconventional way of using this extra large tray. You could do a really fun spread of desserts and cookies and holiday treats for the kids, or you could use it to house seasonal decor and accessories simply on a coffee table or an ottoman. Moving on to these artisan dishware sets. I'm really feeling the natural earthy vibes of tonal colors. Ever since I rearranged my open shelving in my kitchen, everything that's on display has to be meaningful. I'm going for a really minimal vibe and I would love to gift these to my friends and family as well. I've shared some of Zara Home's stoneware dinner plates before and I really love this line. It feels a lot more expensive than it really is and it comes in a variety of earthy tonal colors. I especially love this set. It comes in five colors and the sage green is so pretty against natural woods. This one has textured ridges for a bit of extra design. And I love that this set feels a little bit more upscale for holiday parties with a gold rim. Moving on to serving stands. When laying out a simple holiday table, always think about how you can play with heights. I've linked these two different sets from World Market and I love them for different reasons. This black and gold two-tiered serving stand is really modern and chic. It's a great way to display mini desserts, hors d'oeuvres, or finger foods. The marble nesting serving stands are so cute. You can even display a holiday cake on top and serving spoons underneath. Get creative with how you use these stands and they can work for you all year round. If you are an all day coffee or tea drinker like I am, the Ember Smart Mug is one of the smartest solutions that I've ever seen on the market. It comes with a charging coaster that keeps your beverage hot for hours on end. The great thing about this Smart Mug is once you take it off the coaster, there's still battery to keep it warm. Moving on to this super inexpensive invention that every tea lover must have. It is the under $20 tea steeper that I get for all of my family and friends. It allows you to put loose leaf teas right in the steeper and when the tea is ready, you simply place over the cup and the tea will drain from the bottom. A mesh filter retains all the leaves to make trash disposal quick and simple. Moving on to my must must have reusable water bottle, it is the Hydro Flask. There are a lot of imitations on the market, but I can tell you that Hydro Flask is the best. How do I know? Well, Lahubs and I have actually purchased maybe like five or six different ones on the market just to test them out. We've purchased from Costco, from TJ Maxx, from Target, and always went back to the Hydro Flask. I love the Hydro Flask so much that I have it in pretty much every single size. I love this 24 ounce size because it's slim enough that I could put it in my cup holder while driving in my car. This 32 ounce size is the one that I carry with me throughout the entire day. This is the one that sits on my desk and it's also the one that I carry with me at parties. I'm really that girl who carries her own hydro flask around to parties and events. Lastly, I love this 64 ounce size because I drink a ton of water before I go to bed at night. I actually wake up in the middle of the night and I drink more water. So the 64 ounce is the one that definitely quenches my thirst the best. It's vacuum insulated so it keeps your cold beverages super duper cold. I can literally put ice in my hydro flask on a Monday and I'll still have ice in the chamber by Thursday. However, what the Hydro Flask cannot do is keep hot beverages hot. I did a side-by-side -side comparison with the Hydro Flask and the Yeti, and what I found was that the Hydro Flask is better at keeping beverages cold, and the Yeti is better at keeping hot beverages hot. If you love to keep your hot beverages hot, like your coffee or your tea, or if you're a mom like me, I always carry hot water in my Yeti to warm up cold milk on the go. So to sum up, Hydro Flask for cold and Yeti for hot. We'll be ending this home decor section with my favorite planters. I linked a really modern mix of different size planters for large plants in your home. I love to buy a set so when you display them, you'll have a perfect little vignette. 
There's a mix of metal and wood stands to vibe with your style and aesthetic. Moving on to electronics and tech gear. I don't know about you, but during COVID, I'm literally walking around my house looking for items that I can upgrade. I was walking around my kitchen and looking at the appliance that I use the most often, and it turns out that it's the toaster and air fryer combo. I have a smaller version of this oven air fryer combo, so I was looking at this Cuisinart convection toaster because I love the size. My friends have this toaster air fryer combo and they love it. You can fit so much into this toaster air fryer combo and you can cook your entire dinner in less than 20 minutes. A few years ago, my sister surprised me with the ultimate kitchen appliance. It is this Opal Nugget Ice Maker. What makes a Nugget Ice Machine better than any other ice machine? Well, for starters, you can chew on the ice. I mean, it's soft, it's crunchy, it's great texture, and it's zero calories. My friends and I love to do these little like side-by-side -side comparison tests. We used ice from two different machines for this taste test. One was from the Opal Nugget Ice Maker and one was the regular ice from my refrigerator. So we poured Coke into it, and really you could use this for any type of carbonated beverage. What I found is that the Opal Nugget Ice Maker keeps those fizzy beverages a lot more carbonated longer versus a regular ice machine. Much like the type of ice that's served at like a fast food chain or a restaurant or even like the movie theater. If you inspect the ice, the ice actually has little holes in it. The more holes the ice has, the longer your carbonated beverages will stay carbonated and fizzy, which is really great because every single sip tastes like the first sip versus a regular ice maker and regular ice which flattens out your carbonated beverages pretty fast. So while this Opal Nugget ice machine isn't cheap, I wanna say it's about $500, but hopefully you guys can score some really great Black Friday or Cyber Monday deals. I think the investment is totally worth it. Remember that this is just an ice machine maker. So once the ice machine makes the ice, you need to transfer it to freezer bags and store them in your freezer. There are hundreds of percussion massagers on the market today. And while I haven't tested them all, I have tested the Theragun, the Hypervolt, and the Sonic Massager. I'm happy to report that my favorite of the three was also the cheapest of the bunch. I'm recommending the Sonic Massage Gun for two reasons. For starters, it's ergonomic. It fits squarely in my hand and for someone like me, I'm petite. So what I don't want is to strain my muscles while I'm trying to relieve the tension in my muscles. And number two, it was the quietest of the bunch. My husband and I take turns watching the baby all day long. So the only time that we have to actually use this massage gun is at night while she's sleeping. I found that the Theragun and the Hypervolt were way too loud. I mean, at the beginning, it literally woke her up the minute that we turned it on. The Sonic massage gun is small, it's quiet, yet it's just as powerful as the other two. You guys have been asking me for really quick and simple, easy upgrades to make your home look a little bit more luxurious. And I think that lighting is your number one best bet. I love these LED strip lights that you can place under your kitchen cabinetry to light up the countertops and add a little bit of ambiance to the space. It's really easy to use. There's a double stick tape adhesive that you simply remove and just adhere to the bottom of your cabinets. If you have a little space above your kitchen cabinets, it's also great to light the area up there as well. You can even use it in your closet to light the rods if you're searching for something in the dark. A great gift to get and give are Hue lights. These Hue light bulbs come in a variety of different sizes and options. Hue lights are really great for teenagers and young adults because they can easily change up the color of their room according to their mood. I used Hue lights back then when we used to throw all these parties. We would hook the lights up to the speakers in our home and every time the music changed or the beat dropped, the color of the Hue lights would change along with it. But if you're not into the range of rainbow colors, you can also change the warmth and coolness of the white light. And the last two from my electronics list is something I used every single day. It's the rapid wall charger for USB cables and the electric lighter. These two are really convenient and they make great stocking stuffers. There's no one I know that doesn't need it. I literally have a rapid wall charger in every single electronic plug in the home. There's no one room that doesn't need it. The great thing about the electric lighter is you simply plug it in to charge it up. You never run out of lighter fluid and so to me it's environmentally friendly as well.
I don't get my home professionally cleaned. I actually do all of the cleaning myself. I mean, much to my husband's dismay, I actually love it. I would love it even more if I had the right equipment to work with. You'll remember from my previous holiday gift guide that the Dyson Animal handheld vacuum was the appliance that I use the most in the home. They just came out with a new model, the V11 Torque Drive Outsides versus the Animal. The Dyson V11 is their newest line of their cordless vacuums. Of the three, the outsize is the largest. For me, I'm small and petite. I'm looking for something that's going to fit within the palm of my hand and that's easy to maneuver. So we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison between the Torque Drive and the Animal. Here's the difference. The Torque Drive has an LCD screen that shows the battery life and maintenance alert. The LCD display is really the only difference between the Torque Drive and the Animal. The Torque Drive also has one additional unit over the Animal that is really good for delicate fabrics. Think curtains, especially if you have heavy drapery. The Animal is actually $100 cheaper than the Torque Drive, so you can determine whether or not you really need that LCD screen. I have an old shark steamer that cleans and steams my floors. I have a majority of laminate floors throughout the home mixed in with some tile. I'm looking to upgrade this system with a 2-in-1 mop and vacuum and that is when I found the Bissell Crosswave. The Crosswave combines vacuuming and mopping so you can save time during cleaning. And the thing I love best about it is that it also works on area rugs. You guys are always asking me how to clean those area rugs, so I think making an investment in the Bissell Crosswave is a really smart move. Another appliance that I swear by in my home is my iRobot. The iRobot is really perfect if you have pets because it automatically vacuums and sweeps up all of that pet hair that you cannot see. So I'm definitely a huge fan of everything iRobot comes out with. They also have a mop version like the vacuum. It is not a two-in-one mop and vacuum. It only mops your floors. There's a few range of models. The lowest end has a vibrating mop head, a removable battery, and 180 minutes of total cleaning time. The mid-range is actually an older model. They made this one in 2013, so this is not something I recommend since of course there's new technology that's come out since then. The most expensive model has an app to customize it. It includes smart mapping, so it actually uses a camera so you can set up boundaries within your home and tell the iRobot where and when to mop. You might remember from my video, five things that every home needs. One of the top things I recommend is something cozy. I recently made this discovery of a brand called Cozy Earth. The line is eco-friendly, it's all about using sustainable materials and premium bamboo bedding is at the top of their list. I recently scored a pajama lounge set from Cozy Earth and I gotta tell you, the fabric is just so heavenly and luxurious. This line has been on Oprah's favorite things for a few years now and let me tell you why. They have bedding, they have comforters, they have pillowcases and duvets, they have pajama sets, lounge sets, they even have a men's line. Since we're all spending so much time at home now, I think that these Cozy Earth lounge sets or bedding would make the perfect gift. But if you're looking for pajamas or lounge sets that are a little bit more affordable to gift, I love the Stars Above line from Target. It's really soft, it's really cozy, it's a little bit thinner than Cozy Earth, but at this price, you really can't afford to gift it for the entire family. Moving on to my ultimate favorite something cozy, it's Barefoot Dreams. I have Barefoot Dreams, I mean everywhere in my home. I featured a Barefoot Dreams blanket on last year's holiday gift guide and this year I want to add the Barefoot Dreams robe to the holiday gift guide. I live in this robe every single day. It comes in so many different colors and it's really affordable. It feels like you're wearing the Barefoot Dreams blanket all day long. I mean it doesn't get more comfortable than that. And finally, Uggs House Slippers. You might have seen these house slippers on social media before and for good reason. I mean, number one, they're by Uggs. Uggs is just super duper comfortable. Did you know that Uggs are meant to be worn without socks? I learned that from watching a really old episode of Oprah's Favorite Things once and I never forgot it. And it totally makes sense. Bare feet against that shearling lining is just pure luxury. This next section is really just to make traveling a lot easier for you. It might be a while before we're jet setting again all over the world, but I know that you might be staycationing just like I am. I've been taking the opportunity to explore little towns around my area, and these essentials will make packing so much easier for you. I love these weekender bags from Herschel and Bays for the same reason. They have these convenient shoe compartments, so your clothes don't get soiled by your dirty shoes.
I also just discovered these packing cubes from Stony Clover in collaboration with Hello Kitty. I used these packing cubes on our last trip to Palm Desert for Kamari's clothes. I mean, it was perfect. I packed one cube with all of her going out outfits. I packed another cube with all her sleeping clothes, another cube for all her toiletries and essentials. And lastly, the envelope pouch for all of her accessories and shoes. I mean, it really made organizing our travel bags so much simpler. I also found this really great set of packing cubes as well from Nordstrom and they come in a variety of colors. My friends and family say that I'm probably one of the most difficult people to shop for. I mean, they always think that, you know, what do you get the person who has everything? And I have a really simple answer for that. Something personalized. Number one, they can't return it. And number two, everyone loves something engraved or personalized. The original space letter necklace was high on my hit list when I was pregnant with Kamari. I've seen a lot of personalized necklaces and nameplates by a lot of different vendors out there, but I really love how modern and simple the aesthetic of this necklace is. It's 14 karat gold. It provides the perfect amount of subtle bling to wear every day. And the last item I have on our holiday guide for 2020 are personalized children's books. Last Christmas, I gifted Lahubs with this personalized book, When Kamari Grows Up. You might have seen it all over Instagram ads. I mean, and that's how I got got. I saw an Instagram ad from Hooray Heroes with all of these dads like crying when they received this book and I just had to get it for Lahubs. I mean, it's so cute. It literally has like a storyline of what Kamari will be when she grows up from like the president to an all-star NBA player. There's so many little stories in here that are personalized with her name. A few other personalized books I love is Around the World with Kamari. This was gifted by Auntie Kelly. Thank you, Auntie, to Kamari. I read this to her just last night and it's so cute. This one's by Shutterfly. And as you can see, I mean, the entire book is personalized with her name in it. So every time you read it, obviously the child hears his or her name and they love it. They light up and they also see like little caricatures of their face in it. I mean, it's the most darling thing. I'll link a couple more from you from different vendors and they all have different scenarios. I mean, this one's uplifting. It's all about spreading kindness and positivity around the world. It's Kamari can change the world. This one's all about reading alphabets, ABCs. This is from Auntie Trin. There are so many different types of personalized books that you can get out there for really any member of your family, especially the ones who have young kids that love story time. They love hearing their names when you're reading the books out loud and they love seeing their little pictures come to life. And that is it for this year's holiday gift guide. I hope you guys got a lot of great tips for those hard to gift people in your lives. I am one of them, so really I'd be happy receiving anything on this list and I'd be equally as happy gifting it as well. I'll be linking everything that I talked about in this video in the description box below so that you can shop the look. Of course, take full advantage of the Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. I mean, that is coming up this week. If there's any gift that I've missed that you love to give or you love to receive, please let me know in the comments below. I know a lot of our viewers comb the comments section for extra tips and tricks, so hopefully your suggestion can inspire our next great holiday purchase. If you like this type of holiday content, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell to get notified of new videos that we drop every Tuesday. And be sure to join us next week for more holiday content. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.